Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy meal, half an hour cook time on the Kamado and probably 15 minutes prep time to begin with, 45 minutes all in and you're going to have a wicked little meal. Welcome along to Barbecue Life where a great barbecue doesn't have to cost a fortune. My name's Tom, today we are going to be cooking planked salmon and we're going to be doing a a uh, pesto and parmesan new potato dish on the side and we're going to be cooking on the Kamado Bono. So first thing we want to do is prep our potatoes. So we just want to get these chopped up so that they are all about the same sort of size and we're going to get them inside parboiling on the gas. There's no point putting them on the Kamado and wasting all of that charcoal energy when all we're doing is boiling. So we just want to get a parboil on these potatoes. So pop them inside and get them going. So while they're inside and they're getting going, we need to get our Kamado lit. So we're just doing this in the same standard way. So we've got Texas Club charcoal in the bottom of the Kamado Bono. And we just want to be going in with a couple of wax woodies. Nestle them in there, get them lit. Lid open, bottom vent open. While the, they're burning away and they're going to start, the charcoal is going to start to take. Once they've burnt out, you want to shut the lid down, open the daisy wheel on the top and start feeling the Kamado so that you can feel that when it starts to warm up, this is when you want to start dialing in your temperatures. can take a little bit of time to get some heat into that ceramic, but once you've got the heat in there, that's when you're going to be dialing in your temperatures. And we're aiming for a temperature of around 200 degrees C today. So while all that's coming up to temperature, we need to start on our salmon. So as I said at the beginning, we're doing planked salmon. So we've got some cedar planks that I've had sitting in a bowl for around three hours so you soak these for th anywhere between three to six hours so they don't just burst into flames when you get them under a high heat so I just put them in a bowl and then I'll get a couple of jam jars cups glasses whatever fill them up with water as well and pop them in on top just so it stays submerged so that you can get a nice penetration of the water into the plank so as I say mine had about three hours today taken it out, got it on the chopping board, and we need to get our salmon on there. So we've just picked up some salmon fillets from the local supermarket. I'm going to get them laid on. You don't want much hanging over the edge. I can only just about fit the four fillets on here because they're quite long. Got a little bit hanging over the edges, but it's not too bad. So seasoning-wise today, we're going to hit these up with some rubs from the Rusty Barbecue Company. Now, there is a 10% discount code of Barbecue Life UK 10, and that will save you 10% off of anything that is full price on the uh, Rusty Barbecue website, any of their products. I'm not sure if it comes off of the uh, Waz Hut um, sources, so you'll have to give that a try. But everything that is Rusty Barbecue branded on there, you're going to get save yourself 10%. So we're using two different rubs from there today. We're going to be using the Herbie Garlic Butter, and we want to get a nice sprinkling of that all the way over these uh, summer fillets. And it's a really nice, subtle flavour in this rub. It's one of my absolute favourites from the Rusty Barbecue Company. It just adds such a wonderful depth of flavour without being too overpowering. So you can still taste your meat or still taste your fish or vegetables or whatever it is that you're covering it with. And it just it gives it a really nice enhancing. The next rub that we're going on with is Louisiana Hot Stuff. Now this is just going to give us a nice kick of heat and a beautiful colour on this salmon so again we just want a nice little dusting over the top nothing too heavy because we still want this salmon to really sing so we've got that on the side our comados come up to temperature 200 degrees so that's about a finger and a half in the bottom vent and the top vent set to number two as i say about 200 degrees c our potatoes have been inside parboiling take them off and we now need to prep them so I've got a, a tin dish um, that I always do, sort of the cooks out in the barbecue. And we want to get them potatoes and pour them in there. Then we want to be going in with some pesto. So two to three teaspoons of pesto on there. And we want to muddle that through so that all of the potatoes are covered in the pesto. And then we're going to go on with some Parmesan cheese and give it a nice sprinkling on there as well. You can give that a mix through as well and then always add a bit more on the top because you can't have enough parmesan. So 
we need to get these onto the Kamado. So I've set ourselves up for two zone cooking today. So we're using the grill grate on the higher level, but one side we've got a deflector plate in and the other side we haven't. Because the potatoes are gonna need an indirect cook and the salmon is gonna need a direct cook because we want that direct heat up on the bottom of the plank and it's gonna char the bottom of that plank and that's gonna give us our smoke to flavor our fish. So we get the potatoes on that indirect side and we're gonna get the plank on the direct side. So as I said at the beginning, this is gonna be a roughly half an hour cook. So half an hour later, we're gonna go back in, we're gonna have a look at our potatoes. They've nicely softened down. We need to check our internal temperature of our salmon. So we're looking for at least 50 degrees internal for salmon for it to be safe. I like to take mine to about 55. Um, that's the sort of texture I like on there. So go in with our instant read thermometer. This one's from Inkbird. Go in and we're at 56 degrees. So we are spot on uh, pretty much where I want it to be. And I say that was about half an hour. Um, you can always add a probe in there all the way through the cook. So you can monitor your cooks all the way through. But I've pretty much got this nailed down now. That 200 degrees is about right half an hour cooking for these salmon fillets and these potatoes. So this can now come off. We want to let that salmon rest for a couple of minutes so that it just mellows out. Let the potatoes come off, let them mellow out a little bit as well because they're going to be mega hot. And it's going to give us a bit of time to knock up a quick sauce. So just going on with a standard saucepan on the Kamado and a nice knob of butter in there. And we want to let that butter melt down. Once that's melted down, we want to go in with the juice of an entire lime and just squeeze that in. And that is nice and simple on our sauce. So we get our salmon plated up and we just want to pour the sauce over the top. Not too much because it's quite a um, quite a, a flavoursome little sauce on there. But it just the, the lime helps cut the heat of the Louisiana hot stuff. The citrus works really well with the fish. So it's just a winner all the way around. Little piece of that on there and we're absolutely perfect. So we've got no taste test today because it is half term and there is plenty of noise. And um, the cancer are running out cat in the grass as well. So it's just been too much noise to be doing a taste test. So that's about it. I can assure you that this tasted absolutely fantastic. As I say, 55 degrees is about right for the texture that I like on salmon. You can take it a little further if you want to, or about five degrees less, but just make sure it hits 50 to make it safe. And yeah, this is a really nice, quick and easy midweek meal, um, a winner for everybody. So if you like what we're doing here at Barbecue Life, then please do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video, leave me a comment underneath, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.